Hi everyone, welcome back to another cut above with Chris. Going for a head shave. I'm going to give my face a little bit of a rest. I think I've just overworked in the past sort of two or three weeks. I think I've every every day shaved pretty much now for quite a bit. Um, it's just took a bit of a toll on me, so it's healed up lovely overnight. I've got a couple of little spots here and there. But other than that, I'm just going to let it rest. I don't think I've got any ingrown hairs, which is a good thing. And just see how I feel in a day or two. But I'm going to do a head shave. I'm going to use exactly the same stuff pretty much as I did yesterday for my face shave, which is. Oleo Oak Soap Works, Frankie and Myrna, and I've got Frankincense and Myrrh from Sterling Soap Company, and it smells like a really sort of herbaceous, green, earthy scent. That's what I get from it. It's almost like a, like a musk, or a, I, I can't really put my finger on it, but it, it smells almost like an incense stick, the Sterling one. This. This to me smells sort of almost chocolatey, vanilla, a warm sort of scent. It's very sweet. And when I read the notes on it, it does have gourmand myrrh in it. Now, I don't even know what myrrh smells like, but when you put the word gourmand in, I actually said yesterday when I was smelling it, it does have a gourmand sort of scent to it. And it does, it smells good enough to eat. So, brush of choice for today is the, once again, Myrrh and Cadman. Beautiful brush, 26mm black and white Magard knot. Get that dipped in the water. Get it all up. That's my son trying to get him for a shiver, he can go and use his own. Hello? No. Hey. No. Well, it's not really yours, it's mine's again. Oh, is that right? Lamin with a lock shut. Just trying to get a good load into the brush here for a head shave. I think that should be a load. We'll just see how we go. Might have to add a little bit more water, a little bit more soap, should I say. But then again, this stuff lathers up like a treat, so flip the head. Oh, right, and here we go. Definitely a very nice scent. Now I did feel like I got a little bit of a reaction from this yesterday on my face, just ever so slightly. Post shave, it was fine. It was just during the shave I had a very light tingle from it. I'm not sure if it was the soap or whether it was just the skin, just to get a bit of a rest. But I have got a feeling that it was a reaction to the soap itself or the, the fragrance oils in the soap. I've used the soap base scentless and never had a single problem so it's quite clear that the, the oils or whatever that goes into the soap base to scent it that causes me the issues now what i'm going to do i'm going to do similar to what i do with my face here i'm just going to keep painting water in not until it goes opaque but just until i can see it's a little bit wetter on my head so that when i splay the brush i'm going to start getting some sort of growth in the lather straight away I can actually see, you guys can't see, but over my back left shoulder there's actually another mirror on the wall which houses a lot of my razors, well houses all my razors and brushes that I use. Alright, we're almost there, probably just another few paintings. I did have a bit of a rough shave, rough head shave last time I had one, using the supply razor then the above the tie and finishing off with the head blade, it was a bit of a bit of a triple shave disaster. I did have sunburn and I, I paid the price for it for a few days so I'm feeling a lot better now. 
Let's see how it goes. Right, let's splay this out and see how it goes. Definitely a lot more moisture in the ladder on my head here now, to begin with. Hopefully we get some growth straight away. I'm not expecting a massive amount because the soap loves water, so it does eat the water up. And I can tell you right now, I can feel a bit of a tingle in my head already. I think it could be psychological now that I've had it on my face, but it does feel like I'm getting one. Which is unusual, my head normally takes, has less of a reaction to soaps than what my face does. Right, it needs quite a bit of water. Shine in that. Look at that. Whew. This is some good lather, this. You guys can see that gloss in there. There's a few little bigger red bubbles in there, but in general, that just looks creamy and glossy. It almost looks like thick double cream. Doesn't look like there's much in there. Let's see if I can get a bit of gloss on there for you, which I can't. <laughs> anyway, let's see how we go. Above the tie, R1 Cronus handle. <laughs> I can't remember now. Is it the Cronus? and very very nicely made razor i actually have one on the way not a stainless i have an aluminium one on the way as part of a trade with the lovely fella jonathan guzman or guthman over in the states so that is hopefully on its way today or tomorrow and one of my brushes is heading over to the states with a couple of soaps or a soap and a couple of the bits and bobs so let's just see how we go brand new feather blade in this I haven't used a feather in it yet spencer says he loves the feathers now favorite but look at that lather I'm not exaggerating when I say that's incredible. Okay, so it's a really nice razor. This blade doesn't feel quite as nice as the that set for me. This blade feels a little bit rougher, the feather. So I've just spent, what time is it now, it's 25 to 7 in the evening. I started building the Millennium Falcon Lego with my youngest, Max, 7 years old, at just after 12 o'clock. And we've just finished it about half hour ago, so he sat for 6 hours with me. And I've just plodded through it and got it done. And it looks brilliant, and he's over the moon. And so am I, I haven't built Lego that big since for, for a very, very long time probably since I was about his age with my dad. And he's got the Star Wars puppet at the moment. I took the kids to see Star Wars yesterday, the new, the last year I. And it was excellent. I'm not going to say anything about it because it's not. There'll be people out there who haven't watched it yet possibly and are going to watch it and I don't want to spoil it. But what I will say about it as I've watched every single Star Wars movie over and over again, several times, and it's the best one I've watched. Out of all of them, even the originals, it's my favourite Star Wars movie. So, I was pleasantly surprised. If I'm honest, I wasn't expecting it to be that good. Now, this definitely doesn't feel as smooth 
as the Gillette Nasset blades are fat. Do you know something? It's nowhere near as smooth. I don't know what it is. It feels really rough. It might not be. It might actually be sliced. I mean, it's cutting the hair down well. It just doesn't feel as comfortable. It feels more like it's scraping the hair off than just smoothly whipping through it. Now, I've used this razor once before on my head from start to finish and it was as smooth as smooth when I was using it so this is, isn't the feeling I was expecting to feel even with the feather in there if anything I was expecting it to feel even smoother because of how sharp the feather is Look at that beautiful thick line, I know it's full of hair now but it's just thick, thick lather. It smells lovely. It fills up the bathroom. It's not too strong, but it's strong enough that you can smell it for the whole shave. It's complex enough that you get different sort of subtle notes from it. It's, it's a very well blended scent. I don't know the full ins and outs of what's in it. There's quite a few notes in it in terms of what's in this in the scent itself in the essential oil. It's not, it's not I, immediately identifiable what's actually in this soap. If I, if I handed you this soap, I said have a smell of that and tell me what it is. <sighs> yeah, tell you what, you need to have a hell of a nose to tell me it was frankincense and uh, it's not the full aroma of it, but having smelled frankincense and uh, from Sterling, that to me, just thinking of what it would smell like, just what frankincense and where it would smell like. This doesn't smell like that at all. It's like a sweet gourmand scent. Good enough to eat, but it does smell very, very nice. Right, lather number two. Let's see if we get any reaction to this. One of my buddies over in, the, over in the UK has just shaved his head and I think it really suits it. Tom's story. So if you watch this mate, well done. I think it looks great on your bum. I think you get to a stage where you're here just, you're clinging on for grim death to try and keep hold of it. And if anything, you look worse trying to, trying to look good than just whipping it off and just accepting what you've got. And I think, I think it looks good on you mate, so it'll grow on the wife, trust me. I don't think they ever sort of get used to it, but at the end of the day mate, it's about being comfortable in yourself. I'm now comfortable with this. I've been bald now for years. Not bald, but shaved bald. And I just enjoy it, I enjoy shaving it as well. Right. Here we go, against the grain, let's see how this feels. If it feels rough, I'm going to whip it out and put the Gillette Nasset back in. Okay, so surprisingly enough, it actually feels quite nice. It doesn't feel too bad against the grain. It's still not as smooth as Gillette Nassets, but it's smooth enough that it's comfortable. But so far, the Gillette Nassets is my go-to blade in this razor so far. But it'll be interesting to see whether the aluminium version it's pretty much a carbon copy of the stainless steel one. Mm. 
Now, the residual slickness is definitely being found wanting it. That's almost unbearable to shave with, and it's there's really nothing there. So that could be that this has taken all the soap off, but that's not the best for head shave so far. The one thing this razor has got over a lot of razors I've used is an extremely satisfying audible feedback. It's really crisp. It's clean. There's no there's no sort of roughness with it. It doesn't jump a jitter. You just get a clean sh sh sh. It doesn't even sound like you're scraping toast. It, 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 it's a very unique audible feedback. Almost to the point of if I heard it from someone else I could almost pick out that it's an above the tie because I haven't used a razor with this, this sound before. Now even though the, the residual slickness isn't the best The longevity of the lather is great when you actually get it on your skin and you leave it there and I start here and boy all the way around my head it takes a lot longer than face shave so by the time I get to this side it's normally drying out or it's dissipated a bit and it's not happening with the soap but it's staying there which is good. I'm just going up to the sink again because that's scraped off a lot of hair there. It's definitely one of my favourite head shaving razors. It's not a go-to razor for a face shave for me. Definitely that plate for head shave is super. No, so I'm pretty much BBS everywhere here. Just the odd little bits, so I'm going to coat my head in lather again and then just have a drag around with a razor and just finish this off. The brush feels incredible, it's got a lovely grip to it, it's a nice chunky handle. It is a little bit heavy, I have to say, when I'm doing my head shaves, I don't like too much weight in my gear because it's heavy on my shoulder, I've got a, got a little bit of a damaged shoulder, nothing bad but it is noticeable when I'm doing something that's repetitive and like this, I mean this is pretty much a shoulder workout when you're doing it. So as you can see the lather's really thinned out a lot now, so there's not a lot left in the brush by the looks of things, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze it out. Just whip on this last bit of lather. I might even just keep that last bit in my hand. And we'll just have a bit of a feel about One thing I did notice with this razor last time I used it was that my pickups were a lot faster for some reason. It seems to really get in there and dig out the hair. So you're not over and over the same areas non stop, just trying to pick up those last little straggly hairs that you miss. Do you know what I mean? That's a massive bonus for me because this is where I spend most of my time on my head shaves, it's doing this part on my crown and around the crown area. That's where all the hair seems to, it grows in all directions, so 
you've got to try and very chatty, I'm just picking up this last little bit yet. I'm interested to see how time-wise this has went. I know I've done quite a bit of talking and to my usual. But the last time I used this razor for a full head shave it took me 40 odd minutes because I had 9, 10 days growth I think it was. Right about that. up to the same as this. Get rid of the sunburn. Oh, using a lovely soap with a nice brush, a cracking razor with a sharp blade. The blade worked, I mean that, that was actually very smooth in the end. I wonder if I just knocked that really rough sharp edge off the feather with the first pass. That was beautiful, really enjoyable. Right, I'm just gonna rinse off. I've already rinsed off on top of it. Just gonna pop a bit of Thea's on now. Some Thea's peach. 
That's all I'm putting on tonight. I'm not going to put anything else on. I'm just going to enjoy that burn from the peach. I don't know why this one burns the most, but it really gives a good burn. Let that dry in. I'm going to rinse the soap off. No burn at all or any irritation from that soap on my head. Now, I, like some other people, don't get the same reactions on my head skin as I do on my face skin. Now, I know this is a this is a freebie, but I've just noticed that because I've got this label wet, it's all started to fade off. I know what it is, so it doesn't really matter to me. It smells great, it really does smell good. It smells it really edible. The brush shouldn't take long to clean it now because there was literally no soap in it when I took that last little bit out. And I've got two head shaves now with this above the tie from start to finish, and both of them have been exceptional. And this one as well, it's just super smooth, no irritation that I can feel. There's obviously an irritation there. Nothing that's, that's anything worth really noting. Rinse that off. Oh, it smells great, it really does. So the soap today, which is almost unreadable now, was Holio Soap Works, Frankie and Myrna Shaving Soap. This is the Duck Tallow Shaving Soap, and it's really, really good. You know, the residual slickness here wasn't the best, but I mean, I've got hardly any irritation at all in terms of what I can feel. It's BBS, I've got no problems, no cuts, no weepers, nothing at all. Mervyn Cabin, beautiful brush, stunning brush, really is. The handle is just exceptional. 26 mil black and white magard knot, which is lovely. It's not as nice as a tuxedo, I have to say. It is just ever so slightly less soft in terms of face feel. It's not far away, but it's, it, is, it isn't as soft, in my opinion. Then we have the razor, which was superb today, and hopefully the aluminium one that I'm receiving will be as good as this. But great razor. Brand new feather blade, which performed really well and finished off with the Thea's Peach. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is another amazing shave. So let's say I'm resting my face at the moment. I've got a couple of spots here now, but my skin's looking good. It's, it's healed up really well, even in a day. So I'm quite happy with that. So hopefully tomorrow I can get stuck back in again. If not, I might leave it again just one more day, just to let it rest a little bit. And we'll go from there. Thanks very much for tuning in. Stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Cheers. <laughs>